assalamu alaikum everyone today we are going to conduct lecture number 18 of this online course and today's topic is uh, introduction to emu 8086 evaluator this is a software which is freely available to practice assembly language code of 8086 it is it provides a very good graphical user interface in which user can easily understand various registers and memory segments so let's proceed to uh, the topic okay this is the icon of emu8086 and we're gonna double click on it we have four different options to choose we use new option new again we have various options we will use empty workspace we choose it and press ok so this is the workspace where we are going to write our assembly instructions so let's write some simple instruction let's say we are writing mov move ax comma one two three four hex so what's going to happen one two three four is a 16 bit hexadecimal value and it is going to shift in uh, accumulator register or ax register so let's see what happens once we are going to press this button which says evaluate so now we see two different window appears this window this window is known as original source code so whatever the program we're gonna write in workspace it will appear in source code so we can see multiple lines here if our program is consisting of multiple line but since our program was just single line so this is just single line and once we click on this single line we see uh, in the other window this part is highlighted and this part indicates equivalent machine code of this assembly instruction this is the assembly instruction and equivalent assembly code is B83412 so these are how many bytes three bytes and these are stored on these locations and this uh, this is the physical address of first location which is 0 1 triple 0 this is 20 bit address and its logical address is mentioned here in this box it says 0100 colon 000, 000. Uh, this first value is the CS value which we can see here 0100 and IP value is the next offset value which is 00, 00 so it is the logical address uh, furthermore we see different registers here and their contents are visible this part again indicates a semi language or whatever the code written on these bytes it uh, equivalent assembly language is shown here so we're going to execute this line uh, if we want to execute we have two options one is this run button if we press this run button what is going to happen the complete assembly language program that we have written in this source code will execute and if we are interested to execute line by line or instruction by instruction then we can use this button which is single step so we're going to use this button single step so let's press this single button what happened here the, this assembly instruction is executed and these three bytes are consumed so uh, this next this is the next uh, physical address or is pointed by IP and IP is incremented by 3 because 3 bytes has been consumed this is the logical address of the next instruction uh, which is 0100 colon 003 0100 value of CS 00303 is the value of IP uh, whatever the change we put uh, we uh, whatever the change it, it is shown in blue color so this is also the blue color and it is the content of new content of accumulator register or AX register because that is the 1234 value which is shifted here I hope this is clear up to this point okay since we are um, discussing this instruction move AX comma 1234 hacks let's convert it into machine code using the instruction set of code we have available uh, for example that is the instruction set part which we saw earlier what do you think which instruction uh, code or which uh, option will be true for this instruction it it cannot it, it cannot be this thing because it is not movement from register to memory or memory to register uh, it can be this thing immediate to register but uh, there this option can be avoided so we can choose this one immediate to register this is valid and what is the uh, op, uh, data format for this instruction is uh, that is the opcode 1011 
then we have to write w bit which is size of instruction then we have to mention which register we are discussing and then we can use data right in this example the data is this immediate value so the opcode is 101 as we saw in this format 1011 w is size and it will be equal to 1 since it is a 16 bit operation register which is ax so it, the code for re register ax is 000 and you can verify it from the machine code conversion table so the byte one will be opcode w comma register this is the same thing so if we, if we put the values 1011 1 for uh, w bit and triple zero for register field so it will become b8 hacks byte two will be immediate data and that will be lower batch so lower data is 34 hacks and byte 3 will be higher data and higher data is 1 2 hacks so complete uh, machine code will be b834 1 2 hacks and this is the same code that we have seen in the uh, evaluator as well so in this way one can verify each machine code conversion i just took one example so i just wanted to show you uh, in the same manner, you can verify your uh, machine code conversion using that evaluator as well. Okay, now we are going to execute this instruction, which is move ax comma one two three four, and these are equivalent three bytes. Uh, we saw machine code conversion as well, and it is the same same value b eight three four one two. I hope you can see it. Uh, these are pointed by these values of CS and IP. CS value is 0100, IP value is 00. So once this instruction is going to execute, what will happen? IP will increment it by 3 because it will point to this next address. Let's see what happened when we are going to execute it. And one thing more, the instruction is uh, move AX, 1234. It's a data movement instruction. So this 16-bit value, which is 1234 hacks, is going to move inside this AX register. The content of AX register right now is 00. So after the execution, it should be 1234. So let's execute it. For execution, we have two options available here. Uh, this button, run. If you press this button, the complete program will run automatically uh, and this is also written here in the uh, this here make single step automatically and this one is uh, this one is single step button so since this is a just a single line program but if you have multiple line and you want to see the effect of each line execution so you can use this button so I'm going to just press this single ex single step to execute it so look now these three bytes have been consumed and this is the next byte which is pointed by this ip ip is incremented by three and furthermore this value move uh, has been moved one two three four into ax so that is the execution in this same manner you can actually check execution of um, various instructions okay now we are going to change this program somehow and uh, uh, let's say we are increasing our program so let's say our next instruction is move bx comma uh, let's say we want to put uh, ff 0 f okay hex so this is a 16 bit value and i have put it into bx so let's see what happens when i'm going to press this evaluate button look it gave me an error move bx comma ff0f this is the line in which there is an error and it says wrong parameter and it also provides you solution probably no zero prefix for hacks so what does it mean let me tell you look this is a 16 bit value it's a ba valid value for bx but uh, there is a limitation in 8086 you can uh, of uh, evaluator you can't just put uh, ff0f you need to put first number as digital number or you can say from 0 to 9 you can choose any number so I'm choosing 0 so now this value will become acceptable so uh, this value won't put any uh, any effect on this complete value this value is again uh, still same uh, ff 0 f but 0 is just put in the start so that it is accepted by the emulator let's see yes it is working now and you see uh, this is the first instruction that we saw earlier so if we gonna execute it single step what happened one two three four these values are 
uh, here have been moved in AX rightly and IP has changed again this is the next command and these three are the bytes uh, you can calculate the equivalent uh, machine code using uh, your machine code conversion uh, I'm not going to do it I hope you can do it yourself so BB0FFF is equivalent bytes of this second line and once we are going to execute what will happen uh, IP will switch to this value and uh, this value FF0F will be inside BX let's see what's going to happen look FF0F has come in the uh, BX and IP has switched to this value incremented by 3 again because it was 3 byte uh, value uh, you can also verify any any other information for example what can okay we can check some memory operands here move let's say we want to put uh, we are using direct uh, address 0024 hex comma ax so it is a direct memory operand or direct memory operand addressing mode so what is going to happen the whatever the value of x is it is going to transfer inside that memory but uh, remember we have to calculate its physical address first so there is no segment override prefix so that means data segment will be used what is the value of data segment uh, we can see here it is 0100 so the value is going to put inside uh, 0100 colon 0024 and if we want to check that memory right now what is the address what is the current value current value is stored in that memory we can check we can use this uh, using this uh, it is 0100 colon and that should be what 0024 so just to check what value has stored there it is basically this value and we see uh, 0 0 is stored here let's see what happened uh, when this ax command or this instruction is going to execute what going ha going to happen the value of ax is going to transfer inside that memory location and that memory location is 0 0 so 3 4 will come here and uh, what uh, 1 2 will come here so before we go we proceed it uh, let's evaluate it again so now we have three instructions in this program this is the first instruction I'm going to execute one two three four in AX uh, we put it again single step FF 0 F is here and now the third instruction we have just written we are going to execute this is single step so now uh, something has happened and we want to verify whether uh, the value of AX is moved in the right location or not we can just put the address here is 0100 colon 0024 look and I'm just going to press enter here look the both values are here 34 and 12 I hope uh, this thing is clear in this way you can access any memory location and check it using its logical address even even the physical address is mentioned here look this is the physical address 01024 it's a 20-bit address uh, 01025 it's a 20-bit address but the logical address is shown in this uh, box I hope this point is clear okay we have seen multiple uh, instructions here we saw a memory operand here uh, what can we check next okay we can check for stake as well so let's say uh, we want to put these values push uh, let's say push ax in or we can use one more uh, data movement instruction let's say move cx comma ax so that means ax value will transfer into cx and then then we want to push uh, whatever the value of CX into the stake so let's examine what we are going to do we are going to evaluate it we click on the ev ev uh, evaluate button and now uh, how we one can see stake this is the stake look this bottom button stake and uh, there are a number of things screen source reset auxiliary variables debugging stake so stake button we gonna press it and it will appear a new different window uh, now we can actually okay we can reduce this 
because we don't need it we can put that window over here yeah just have to minimize okay this thing is clear so right now the, this arrow indicates look this arrow indicates that it is currently pointing at 0100 colon FFFE triple F E remember that was the bottom of stake and it is never used so it's a kind of default value here and we are not going to use it whatever the value we are going to push it will come here so let's see what going to happen when we are going to execute this program so uh, this is our first instruction we gonna press single step what happened one two three four is moved here we again press so ff zero f is here and now this third instruction and these are equivalent bytes you can perform your machine code conversion as well so these are two bytes and now IP will be incremented by two so whenever I press this single step 06 will become 08 because it will be pointing towards this instruction so let's see what happened here uh, uh, this is our third instruction and I'm going to execute it so see whatever the value of AX was moved into CX so that, so that is the third instruction execution and IP is incremented by uh, two now push cx and it is just one single line statement or one byte instruction so uh, you can also perform these machine code conversion using the table well when i'm going to press it single step this instruction is going to execute and that means whatever the value of cx and cx value is one two three four is going to push inside this stack so let's see what's going to happen I hope you can see it it has been pushed whatever the value of CX it has been pushed into the uh, uh, stake okay we can increase one more instruction here at this stage uh, okay before it uh, look FFC it is has it has been decremented by 2 it was the law of stake uh, whenever you push a word inside that stake uh, what will happen uh, the value will uh, the value of stake pointer which is this value is going to decrease by 2 so let's say I'm gonna pop out some value from the stake uh, and stake uh, we are using pop and this time we pop out that value in DX so whatever the value last value stored in the stake is going to come out into the DX and last value which we have pushed into the stake is 1 2 3 4 so let's see what will happen we evaluated again uh, single step for the first line single step for the second line single step for the third line and single step for the fourth line so now this fifth line this is the fifth line that we are going to execute what going to happen whatever the last value is stored inside the stake it is going to pop out from uh, stake and goes into sa dx plus this value will go back to default bottom of the segment which or bottom of the stake let's see what happened we press a single step look it goes back the pointer got goes back uh, okay let me do it again look pointer is right now here and when i press single step pointer goes up which means it is again pointed to triple f e and furthermore the last value which was one two three four in this stake has been pushed into the dx register i hope this is clear to you okay we have seen this emulator stuff we have seen binary section we have seen the code section source code section stake as well we have uh, operand uh, we have applied memory operand as well one thing which i want to discuss more in this lecture and that is your flag and look this is the button if you press it it's gonna show you the flags so there are various flags which you can see and remember these six the, the starting six flags are status flags so whenever you perform such certain operations uh, which are affecting these registers these uh, status flags for example carry flag zero flag sign flag overflow flag and parity flag they, their status will change so uh, in coming lectures we are going to use these flags as well and I'm soon I'm going to upload your lab assignment as well so this these flags and these register our stake segment and this emulator stuff will be very useful for you so please follow this lecture and uh, do it yourself if you find any queries note them down for online session
okay that's it from this lecture if you have any query in this lecture please note them down and we are going to uh, resolve uh, those queries in online session thank you so much for listening